Hey everybody, it's Norm from Tested uh, here at GDC 2016. Now I'm here at Razer's offices right alongside GDC to check out some new systems and have some announcements on products that we first saw at CES. So Kevin, great to see you. Good to see you. Now I heard you guys have some announcements about your laptops, the Blade line. Uh, you got the Razer Blade here. Uh, what's mm -hmm. different and new? Yeah, so it's really exciting to announce the new 14-inch Razer Blade. And what we've done this year is we've made it better, faster, and brighter than ever before. So what we did to improve the user experience, we kept the same CNC aluminum 0.7-inch thin chassis, but we made it about a quarter pound lighter. So it's just 4.25 pounds now. So highly mobile form factor. Uh, the other thing we did to really improve the user experience was with the thermal management system. We re-engineered that, re-engineered the fans, the heat pipes, and all the components involved there, including the fan curves. So what we've done is we've allowed it to keep the components cooler and also keep the fan noise down um, you know, quieter than in prior generations. So and that's really important it, mm -hmm. because this is a full powered system. It's, yeah. it's, and you guys have another blade that's more of your Ultrabook style, mm -hmm. but this one has dedicated graphics, high right. Intel CPU. What's the standard spec that comes in here? Yeah, so what we did this year for the 14 inch blade to make it that true gaming on the go experience is we put in a six generation Skylake Intel CPU. It's a quad core i7. We've got the NVIDIA 970M graphics card, but we doubled the VRAM. So it's six gigs of VRAM this mm. year. Uh, we got rid of the MSATA SSD drives. We only use PCI Express SSDs, so improving the performance on the read-write capabilities with capacities 256 or 512 is available as well. Uh, switched out the wireless cards. We're using a killer wireless 1535 card in there, great for gamers, has some really cool features like packet prioritization that really help with the online gaming experience. And then because we went up to the sixth generation Skylake, we also, with the system memory, it's now DDR4, um, still using our standard 16 gigabyte dual channel configuration. So really all the components inside the new razor blade um, have changed. We did keep the same great 14 inch IGZO panel. It's a quad HD plus uh, 3200 by 1800 resolution. Great colors, great viewing angles, um, and just a best in class 14 inch display for this product. And what's the weight of the device? The weight's at 4.25 pounds, so definitely a mobile form factor. Um, but you know, even at that thin 0 0.70 inches and 4.25 pounds, plenty of power to do gaming on the go. Yeah, and with that, the processor, that RAM, you can do video editing, and it really is, you Supposed to replace your desktop. These are desktop replacement computers. Exactly. Uh, also, heard there's a new price point for this. Yeah. So we we not only improved the product a lot, we also improved the price point. So starting at 19.99 for the 256 gigabyte model, it's about $400 lower than a similar configured model from last year. And on the 512 gigabyte model, we lowered that price $500. So it's just 21.99. So you get all those improvements and a much lower price point. So making it more attainable for gamers so all over. So it starts around 2,000. Only $200 price difference between the uh, 256 gig and yep. the 512. Um, people are spending that much money on a gaming system. It's going to most likely be their dedicated gaming system. Mm -hmm. I know 970M does great graphics yep. and can play games on the screen. You can scale up and down. But for a lot of people who are going to be buying systems this year also want to buy it for VR, which then may need a more dedicated PC class, desktop class mm -hmm. graphics card. And so the Razer Core, which you guys announced at CES, uh, you have more details about that now. Yeah, so we've got more details to announce on the Razer Core. So we announced yesterday with the Blade uh, announcement that it will be compatible with the Core, and I think that's making uh, gamers really excited because obviously they don't want to just game on the go. They want to game when they're back at their desk, or as your point, um, with VR experiences as well. It unlocks that capability. Um, so the Razer Core will be compatible with the Razer Blade. It will support cards from both AMD and NVIDIA. Um, and what's really great is it's a single connection using Thunderbolt 3 to allow that connectivity and give you access to that full desktop environment. So not only do you get the benefits of the desktop graphics card, you're also getting access to all those desktop peripherals that connect into the four USB ports of the Razer Core. It obviously is compatible with both your Blade laptops that have the Thunderbolt 3. Mm -hmm. uh, what about compatibility with other manufacturers' laptops, things that have Thunderbolt, um, if they already own a laptop? Because you're yeah. selling this by itself as well. Yeah, so we are selling the Razer Core by itself for people that want to do that experience. Um, and when it comes to third-party support, it's really up to the other vendors if they want to embrace and adopt the technology needed to do that. So there's nothing proprietary we've done. We've collaborated with Intel and also with AMD on their X-Connect technology. Um, so as long as the other manufacturers adopt the Intel external graphics standard for Thunderbolt 3, then the device should be compatible because it will be certified as a Thunderbolt 3 enclosure. So 
includes firmware driver updates allow the graphics card to switch from native internal graphics to mm -hmm. external graphics as long as you're running windows it'll just flash and then detect it as just another dis display output. exactly now uh the pricing for the core uh you're selling it uh, if you buy it with a blade it's a certain price and also individually i think 500 dollars. is that right yeah so when you buy it with a blade or a blade stealth you get a hundred dollars savings so the core mm -hmm. would only be 399 for that um and then if you were buying it standalone for some reason then 499. Now, 499, a lot of people think, is this just an enclosure for a graphics card with uh, the data port out? What's actually inside here? Can we actually look inside and see what the process is to, yeah, definitely. to plug in a graphics card? Yeah, I think that's one of the key um, you know, advantages of this design is how easy it is to actually get in there and install a desktop graphics card. Whether you're doing it for the first time when you first get it or you're upgrading over time, which is another great um, concept with this solution, is that a lot of people, desktop graphics cards are the first things that get upgraded. Um, so instead of having to buy a whole new notebook to get a better graphics card, you can now focus the upgrade on the core. Sure. So to get that. inside, you just open the handle here. Mm -hmm. We slide it out, comes out on some rails, and then set it down, and you can see uh, inside there. And then to install the graphics card, we basically just slide it into the PCI Express slot. Oh, uh, so you see this basically... First thing, I'll take the thumb screw out. Right. It, so it's, it's a toolless design, no screwdriver needed or anything to get the card in and out of this device. Dual lanes, PCIe. And that's basically the PSU for the graphics card. Yep, it's a 500 right watt power supply. 375 watts is allocated to the graphics card. The balance goes to powering devices like the Blade Stealth as well as peripherals connected to the uh, USB ports. And you have two eight pin connectors right there. Uh, yes, yeah, so just the two six pins we'll plug in there. Oh, okay. I'll put the thumb screw in to secure it in place. And at that point, is that it? That is all there is to installing the card. Uh, one thumb screw, a couple power cords, depending on which card you have, um, and it's that easy. And then when you're done with that, you just basically take this thing, slide it back on the rails, slide it inside, latch it shut, and you're done. Cool. And then, of course, you have extra ports in the back because you have the data cable coming from the computer, so that gives you extra USB ports and also Ethernet. Uh, yep, gigabit Ethernet, so you can have hardwired connectivity as well. Um, and then, obviously, display output, depending on which graphics card the user installs. Awesome. Well, we can't wait to get this into the office to test with our laptops and the blade. Thank you so much for showing me the core and the new blade. My pleasure. Thanks. Thanks.